Hey guys, it's Coop here from GarageDamReviews.com. We are in front of the Rogue Campus. It's absolutely massive, much bigger than I thought it would be. I'm here with Amic Jones. He's the product Direct director of product development. Yeah, director okay, of product at Rogue development. Fitness. You've probably seen him on some videos. And I guess you're my chauffeur for the day. Yep. yep. And he's going to take us through, and we want to show you. Let's go. We are standing on hallowed ground. Right now, this is actually the field where the Rogue Invitational building that Bill Henniger, here's a pop up, you can see it, that R Bill Henniger posted on his Instagram page where they're going to be hosting the Rogue Invitational, the future like kind of CrossFit regionals in the future, and maybe some other events too. We are now standing in front of kind of the entrance to the Rogue HQ, but this is the gym. We'll go in and tour it, but just from the outside looking in. Oh, you got a pit shark in there? You guys sell pit sharks? So I'm standing outside of the building and it is, I don't know what time it is. It's right around 8.15, almost nine or so. And the customer service reps, Amic pointed this out, are still in the building. I don't know if they want me to see them, but they are still in the building answering all your questions about random product gear for all of you all across the world, which is pretty cool. And one of the reasons that Rogue does so well is because they're US based and all their customer service is US based too. Okay, so we did a basic tour of their new headquarters. We'll go all through it tomorrow, but right now we're gonna go to their old headquarters, which I don't know how far it is, but we're gonna go see it, see what it is now, and then probably look through it and then compare it to the new one tomorrow. This is, this is the old gym. I can't believe I get to see all this. This is the old gym. They still use it for USA weightlifting camps and things like that. You can see all the platforms, bars, racks. Oh, rig in the background. Day two, was up all night last night till like 1.30 or so talking to Amic, Director of Product Development at Rogue about <laughs> products. I think I asked every question under the sun. I got a whole lot of, we're not allowed to answer that. I can neither confirm nor deny that, um, but I did get some cool questions, but whew, I'm kind of tired. Let's make some coffee. Gosh dang it! Looks like I'm not drinking coffee this morning. Good. Day two, we are inside of the training facility. No more talking, let's see it. Look at that rig. Oh my gosh. Lots of red and black. So this is where this is where most of the photos are taken too, right? For all the product shots. So you've seen this rig in the background many times. Look at that faded well, that's not faded, is it? That's just a shadow. That'd be pretty cool if that's faded. Dumbbell holders versus spot. The difference, seen that a few times. 
So here's the Rogue Rhino mounted in the rack. I haven't seen one of these yet in the rack. Ooh, the Slinger. You guys are probably seeing, this is a huge rack. You guys are probably seeing this on uh, Instagram. But this, I presume, will end up being able to attach to plate-loaded devices and things like that, have different pulleys so you can use it in different places. Right now it's just bands, but it feels super smooth. New seat. This is a, <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to show it, but this is in the retail store, so that's fine. This is a Cerakoted Rogue Safety Squat Bar. I've been saying forever, Rogue, make your stuff, your specialty bars Cerakoted. And this one is, including the sleeves. Dang. Oh, and here's the trolley arms. So I've got these on order. I haven't seen them yet. They haven't come in yet. But this is them. This is probably the first time you're seeing media of these outside of what Rogue's posted. They machine. So these are stainless steel handles with knurling. That's an aluminum piece. That's actually machined in-house, I was told. Here's the new landmine. Look at the knurling right there. The new injection molded J cups, magnetic Oso collars. These are really cool. You have a Cerakote? <laughs> Man, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I want to show this all to you, but I kind of want to see it too. So these are their monster storage racks. These are just so beefy. Different bars. Browning bar. Rogue Athlete Bar 2014. Probably there aren't many of those. I love those panels. Those are sweet. They probably don't sell those. Are these new technique plates? New technique plates? Two and a half? Is that kilos? Yeah. Oh, the leg press. Holy shnikes. This thing is huge. So this is based off the old Nebula design. Separate trolleys, so you can do one leg exercises. This thing is beefy. Skiergs. Wooden stall bars. If you notice, instead of putting these on the wall, they've got these like five by five, six by six columns that are bolted to the ground. And then the stall bars are actually attached to those. So those are not going anywhere and then they also attach their concept two rower hangers and held them up there the older style monster storage or older style mass storage rack definitely not as pretty as the 
monster rack, but definitely sweet. Ooh. Some prototype rogue dumbbells. Those are cool. Just a gigantic rig. These columns, man. That's six by three. All the way around. There's bikes. The mutt bars. Rogue deadlift. Hammer. Yoke. Just your standard monster rack over here. Slater's corner. See better view there. Pit shark. They sell this. They said they sell it on their site. Probably don't sell as many now. And then the Rogue Barbell Club York moniker. Epic. We're here with Nash, who's a product designer. List off some of your accomplishments. <laughs> your your greatest works of art. I'll, he, actually, he I'll let him be the. Okay, voice this is that. Amic. <laughs> yeah. so, so some of his great, some of his greatest uh, works of art are. Uh, the, mo the mono sand, which I think is one of our most underrated, underrated products, is just a really cool, really cool product. You know, you know, a mono lift that you know for a fraction of the cost, and and, and a fraction of the space. So that's it. the Monster West Side Bench that uh, you know it's just it's just beautiful, and then, you know got you know got used at the CrossFit Regionals this year as well. Um, he's uh, he's the designer behind the uh, Slinger. He also um, made the uh, Jammer Pull Up Bar, which I, I have one in my basement. Use it. Every time we go in and out of the toy room. That's where the uh, the photo or the video was shot in your basement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember that. So so. That's where you see my. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I asked Nash, and I'll ask him again. Uh, and you can repeat why. Where do you get your ideas for this stuff? How does it come about? Yeah. Everything like that. So it's either just uh, direction the company has, direction the department has, what we're trying to work on, who we're trying to focus to, and okay. just kind of. We get, uh, if we need to fill a hole, we'll okay. do that. So. so what's it like to work at Rogue? I mean, you, I know your boss Something's is different every day. Yeah, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Something different every okay. day. Yeah. yeah. You can't get bored, so it's fun. Dang. Yeah. So do you train here, like, often? How uh, often? Lunchtime, yeah. So, okay. like, sometimes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Does that involve testing out your new products? That's every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, like, part of our job, yeah. Okay. You got to design it, you got to test it, you got to see really? if it Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that is so fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Nash, the product designer, kind of asked me to do this. He wanted to make it clear to you guys and just everyone really that when he, I was talking about him creating something, he wanted to make it clear that it is a team environment, that although he's designing, there's somebody else fabricating, there's other people taking pictures, there's other engineers, he's one designer among many, and it takes you know a village to make a product come out. Okay, so when I said he designed, well, he did design and he did help create, but he's not the only one involved. And this speaks to kind of the company as a whole. I even asked Bill Henniger, uh, the founder of the company, like, why don't you do more interviews? Why aren't you aren't, aren't out in the public more? And he says, because he doesn't really care about making his name known. He wants to make Rogue well known. And so that kind of extends down through the ranks and everybody has this like team, like, go get them, let's make Rogue's name known. That's why you don't hear about designers or engineers or individuals at the company, which is pretty cool and just speaks to great volumes, I think, of how good of a company from a business standpoint Rogue is. Let's go back to the video. This is the mock-up garage gym racks. And then I really just wanna highlight these over here. These are new monster storage corner racks. So it takes up the dead space that would normally be there, which is pretty sweet. A lot of photos were shot here. Great lighting. Oh, the Denny stones. These are actually them? 
Oh, replicas. Replicas. Yeah. <laughs> replicas. I would assume the originals are still in Scotland. Yeah. The retail store where you can buy everything you'd ever want. Old York bars, Rogue bars, Russian bar. The wheelbarrow. This was used at the games. They actually sold that. The deadlet or rigolette bar. Shoes. Custom camo on the rack. Seer bell. Okay, so we've toured the facility, at least the retail side. And now we're gonna go talk to Bill and kind of tour the manufacturing side. I can't take you with me. There's a lot of stuff that I'm not allowed to show, um, but I get to see it. So that's all I care about. So I'm here in the Rogue basically try their equipment out center. I don't know what the official name is, but I want to point out a few pieces that kind of stood out to me that I haven't seen before. This is called the Versa Spot. This isn't actually made by Rogue, but they sell it. Um, basically, it's a spotter for dumbbells. So you, they're rubber lined, put them in there. I know they're going to have this on the site, but it goes right into your uprights, which is pretty cool. The Slinger. I think this one will become really popular, especially when they release how they're gonna be able to connect uh, weights to it. Because right now, at least from my vantage point, it's pretty much just bands, but you know they're gonna come up with a way where you can attach it to either the Rogue Rhino or just load plates on it, let them swing in some way that keeps them from, or let them hang in some way that keeps from swinging. Um, but I think this is, a sweet innovation and something that will become popular in garage gyms because right now your option is pretty much either a full-fledged pull down or like a spud ink version and the spud ink version is bad these the trolley arms i have these on order i can't wait to get them in and like test them more and review them um, but just from the outset there's hardly any side to side play the handle is locked in they use the knurled um, like nuts like they use on everything else on their new line. Um, and it's just, it's just easy to use, it's smooth, which is a lot different than some of the other options that are available um, just because they're using hitch pins. So like the Sornex adjustable jammer arms are awesome, great innovation, but at the same time, like there needs to be some refinement in how the handle's attached and some of the side to side uh, play um, that that one doesn't have. So I'm excited to get them in and do like an apples to apples comparison between the two. I'm in Rogue's retail center and Amic said I could customize a bar. So we're gonna see basically, how long does it take for them to like make it? Once I put this in the system, what? Within a day, they're gonna have the bar out. Fully custom bar. So when I hit order, that should take about a day to be made. They'll ship it to you. It takes about two days to get it to you. The process they do to build these things, it's crazy. So I'm walking to my gate right now. I probably look like an idiot, but as my wife would say, what's new? <laughs> But I'm, uh, I'm kind of decompressing from the uh, trip at Rogue. I got to see a lot of cool stuff. I didn't really get a show as much as I wanted to show, but I understand the reasoning. Uh, it makes sense. And uh, I get it. But uh, what Rogue's doing is incredible. The amount of employees they have. You know, Bill Henniger said something. He said, I don't want the metric that I judge my success and rogue success on to be based upon revenue, but rather based upon the amount of people we employ. 
and they employ over 600 people, run over 150,000 pounds of steel through that place a day. I was just looking around and just thinking, man, who is buying all this equipment? And they're like, guys like you, guys that have garage gyms, guys that want to leave an example for their families and these sorts of things. So, you know, I think, I think it's pretty sweet what they're doing. I'm excited because I'm going to Fringe Sport here soon and hopefully going to some other places. And all of that's going to be a juxtaposition, very much so, to Rogue because Rogue is such a monster. However, I think it's important to understand and something I, I told Bill and Amic and those guys is Rogue Fitness, although big, one, wasn't always that way. Um, and two, like it's still, you know, pretty personal for how large they are. And Bill Henniger is the 100% owner of the company. He still replies to emails, still is on the chat board, still replying to Instagram. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. And I, you know, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to head out there. Um, I hope the video was cool. I hope you were able to see some things. I know I, I wanted to show a lot more. There's a lot more they showed me in their manufacturing plant. I got to sit down with Bill and we talked for like two hours. That dude didn't answer his phone one time. Think about that. The CEO, at as large of a company as Rogue is, and the dude took time to talk to me, who's really a relative nobody to him, um, for a couple hours without any distractions. So I'm grateful for it um, and excited to keep on this journey. Thanks for following along.